All right, so the problem like this on the test is going to be straightforward. You, you, you're going to know it's conservation of energy, <clears throat> and you're going to write that right there. And if you're me, you're going to write this whole thing. Before you even really look at the problem, you can write your whole conservation of energy equation. Okay, But do look at the problem. Make sure you understand, and you can clarify to me, uh, make sure you understand where the uh, rod begins and where the rod ends. All right. Um, definitely go back to the problems that have these forces and have these moments. Um, especially, I'm, I'm thinking about those problems where you have a force right here that is always perpendicular, and so the distance that this force acts is the arc length, you know, if it's fixed right here. So making sure you can find the FD of a force that always acts perpendicular, the distance is the arc length, and then moments, make sure you can multiply the moment times the theta. That theta's got to be in radians of the um, direction that it acts. One other thing, um, this FD is positive when the force and the distance are in the same direction. You know, if it's the force is going to the right and and it's and it's go the distance is going to the right, that'd be positive. Same thing with the moment. The moment when the moment and the theta are both in the same direction, then it's plus m theta. If you're if you're twisting clockwise and it starts spinning clockwise, then you're adding m theta to it. But if it's spinning counterclockwise and you're twisting clockwise, you're slowing it down. You know, you're subtracting m theta uh, to it. <clears throat> All right. Um, <clears throat> but be careful with the mgh. This is the h of point g, right? I use two feet right here, not four feet or anything like that. That's the h of point g. And then this, uh, very, very common, the velocity is related to the angular velocity by r omega, this r is distance to the center of rotation, or if it doesn't have a fixed center of rotation, that r is distance to the instantaneous center at that point. Um, so, so there, there we go. Any, anything else? Units are important. You know, this was English units, and this was its weight, not its mass. You know, generally in, in SI, I give you the mass, not its weight. But I think this I think this problem is easy, but I think I've mentioned before, uh, my students um, kind of score poorly on this problem because they make one mistake here, you know, one mistake here, uh, and it kind of adds up. So I know it's the last problem, and you're ready to be done with it. You might even want to start this problem, um, but take your time and think of this MGH as a problem in itself. You know, think about this one half kx squared. That's let's focus on just on the spring. What is its length? But this x is not the length of the spring. This x is the compression or tension of the spring. And then v equals r omega, and then and then doing the math. You do have to finish the math. Uh, make sure don't don't make a mistake with the math. All right, and then you're done. You are free uh, from my class free from this semester. All right. Okay. Well, good luck. Good luck. Good luck.